food booth make you smile? Princess and the Bear here today. We're in Animal Kingdom, lost in the woods. Not really, but lost in getting new things because the Smiling Crocodile has a new menu. And so we're here to retry it another time. So we're gonna put a smile on your faces and ours is your number one chosen foodie infotainment. So let's go get that food. Remember, she's vegan. I'm not, I'm not gonna get bit. It's time to foodie and chill. Street corn tacos, modified vegan and missing the red onion. I have been wanting to retry these tacos for a while, so um, I'm so glad that I get to have them. It's corn, as ah, I'm spilling it everywhere. It comes with some oh, beautiful fresh lime that I'm just going to squeeze right here. And then I'm gonna pour some green salsa. Interesting looking salsa a little bit and then I'm gonna take a bite Oop. and then I have extras that I'm gonna add later so cheers it's basically corn on corn on corn with a little bit of lime the salsa is not spicy at all but it does help with some of the extra corn I like it but I would rather get like the burnt ends from flame tree and put it on the taco and eat all of that together than just have it by itself or you need to add something more um, I brought pocket parm and I brought hot sauce, so I'm definitely going to be adding that after Bear tries this. But I will give it a three and a half out of five tacos as is. It's really like light and refreshing and good for like a, a hot day at Animal Kingdom. I would definitely like to see Disney first off get more inventive with this ingredients. You already have everything you need in the parks to make some fantastic like quick service vegan items. It's just a matter of like combining them. like. Digimon or Magic the Gathering? I don't know. Either way, use what you got. But these are their street corn tacos. Now they do normally come with a lime cream with dairy in it and then a cochita cheese. So we modified to get that without. Very simple, they're very knowledgeable about it. So I'm not gonna have a problem ordering it without either two of those things in there. Just a stuff full of corn sauce and beans at that point. It's definitely a nice party taco the corn and the bean together it's still like a lot for as far as filling it definitely i think the princess is on par on the nose with maybe adding the burnt ends to these one day but other than that it is a tasty like midday park snack light but still a snack i would give it 3.75 out of 5 plus all right we're adding some pocket parm here let's just make up for some of that cheese we didn't get and then i have some hot sauce from the planet of pandora that I just tend to carry with me everywhere. You can find this on multiple places around Disney property, not just here. I'm gonna put that on there. And let's see if it makes the taco better. Cheers. That really just sets it off. Whether it's the parm or the hot sauce or both, that just makes it fire. That is a really good taco. I love it now. So it just needs a little zhuzhing up and you can have an amazing taco. I would give this a 4.75 out of five tacos. It gets minus points because I had to do it myself. Barbacoa nachos, gluten free. So of course in typical Princess and the Bear fashion, Disney stamps the word new on something and we just pop out of the ether and here we are trying it. These brand new Barbacoa nachos are the main reason why we came here today because we will always take a delicious brand new looking tray. This, I was expecting it to be like light, but they actually gave you a little boat, and it's actually kind of hefty. They got the uh, same lime cream you normally get on the tacos, along with some queso, and then the barbacoa is here in the middle, buried under this absolutely ridiculous amount of pickled onions. I probably could have done without that if I had known, but it's not going to kill me. But there you go, barbacoa beef. Hopefully it's a good ratio, but I figure we probably won't find out until I actually dig in and see how much is actually there. So let's shake off some of this cheese, dig into the barbacoa, get some of the crema, and let's see what these barbacoa nachos is all about. There's something about a canned queso, or just a canned cheese. Instantly identifiable. You don't even gotta be a foodie. You know the difference in flavor between like a canned cheese and like cheese cheese. That is definitely a cheese that came out of a tub and then was heated up. I think I can actually taste the tub. Barbacoa beef is nice and seasoned, not too spicy. 
Um, that's a lot of cheese on some nachos. I never complain about more cheese. I feel like it needs a little bit more of the barbecue. I feel like they skimped on that. And in true fashion, I got more chips than I got anything else. It's an okay flavor if you're craving nachos. I think maybe though, it's probably like a more shareable portion in between two people. But it's a nice addition. I like to see more things rotate in and out of the little booths they have here at Animal Kingdom. They have so many of them. It's, just, it's a bit large variety. You could almost have a food festival in and of yourself. The number of booths, stationary booths they have here at Animal Kingdom. So I'm gonna give this a three and a half out of five claws. Worth a try, but not something I'm gonna brag about. Am I smiling? I feel like I'm smiling. Um, I don't know if I'm smiling. I feel like you need to add extras to make it nice. And I think even if you were got the vegetarian version, you wouldn't really feel much different about the tacos than how we do. Yeah, literally just a lime crema and some cheese uh, and an already wet taco. I definitely think it could benefit from addition of, I don't say this often, some alt meat or at least something else like a cauliflower or jackfruit. Those things. Princess Masterson. But, Smiling Crocodile, we're glad that we're seeing these booths open a lot more. We'd like to see them rotate. Maybe even like a mini Animal Kingdom food festival type deal. That would be nice. Stay mm. open later at least. We'd come. But I don't know what you guys think. Do you stop at the food booths like Smiling Crocodile or Mr. Kamal's? Let us know in the comments below. Now, if there's any other booths you'd like to see us explore or anything else you can see us do, the comments will always be the place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Ooh. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear might yeet himself into the river. Yeet is completed. Sure, the girl.